Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. So a couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to visit Megaplex for the first time. For those of you who don't know, Megaplex is a furry convention that takes place every summer in Orlando, Florida. It's a relatively small convention compared to some of the more massive US-based cons, but it still had a solid attendance of 2,602 attendees this year. And that number is steadily growing with every passing convention. Anyways, this convention is definitely worth talking about, so let's get started! On a personal note, the trip itself was a lot of fun, because Clocky's dad actually lives in Florida. So it was really nice to be able to visit him while we were in town. Actually, we ended up going to Epcot at the end of the weekend with some friends, so it was kind of nice to be able to have some little detours in addition to our full weekend at the convention. Speaking of which, overall, Megaplex was an incredibly well-run operation, especially for a smaller con. The first thing that we noticed when we got there was that our registration to pick up our badges took very little time. I know that's a relatively common issue with a lot of conventions with long registration lines, so it was really cool to kind of just see that operational status off the bat. At first we thought that our short registration time was a result of us showing up later on Friday of the con, but when we went to the closing ceremonies, they actually asked people about how long their registration took. And by a show of hands, very few people had to wait more than 10 to 20 minutes to pick up their con badges. Small bits of efficiency like this are not only really nice because we won't get bored standing around in a line, but this also means that the attendees can spend more time going to events and panels. So a huge plus in that area, Megaplex. Also in our experience there, staff was very receptive and helpful whenever we needed something. Actually during one of the days, Clocky went to apply for an artist alley table and the gentleman that was in charge of the paperwork and the signups was very approachable and nice. And anytime we needed to ask a staff member a question, they were always really helpful or they found someone who would be able to help us. So it was really nice to see that the volunteers were just, um, helpful. As far as programming goes, it was a pretty standard variety of panels having to do with art or fursuiting and other fandom related topics. I attended one or two panels throughout the weekend and the rooms had plenty of seating to accommodate any attendees. They had pretty typical fursuit related events like a fursuit parade and a dance competition and even though I missed that, I did watch Floor Wars. Actually, I ran around with a bucket helping collect charity donations between the performances. It was a lot of fun to be able to help out and any fursuiter willing to dedicate the time was able to get a bucket from staff and hustle for some charitable donations. Oh, and I'm not sure if they did this on purpose or if it's just something I noticed, but no matter where I was standing in the room during Floor Wars, I was able to see the dancers pretty clearly. And keep in mind, I was wearing a fursuit head during the bulk of the event. So Megaplex, if that layout was by design, great job! If not, then well, just keep doing what you're doing. Speaking of the layout, the venue this year for Megaplex was gorgeous! It was also just really cool to be in a resort-style hotel with a bunch of furries, because it literally just felt like a resort vacation with a bunch of furries. The pool area was actually one of the bigger ones that I've seen in most convention hotels. So it was kind of cool to see people out there with all their pool toys and whatnot, and it didn't feel disruptive to the other guests. Something about the convention layout felt spread out enough to where it didn't feel crammed, but it was also close together enough to where it kind of felt like it wasn't an inconvenience if I forgot something in my room. But I have to say that the one major drawback of this venue is how much time I spent outside while traveling from my hotel room to the main convention space. There were a few long stretches during the walk to the con space that got my body temperature up very quickly. Like, there were some shaded areas, but that will not protect you from Florida humidity. Luckily, the air conditioning inside the con area itself was really nice, but boy did I get sweaty while walking around between buildings. Like, Megaplex is by far the sweatiest I've ever been at any convention ever. But what do you expect when you're wearing a couch on your face in the dead of a Florida summer? Oh, and speaking of sweat, one thing that I absolutely loved was the headless lounge setup that they had for fursuiters. At each and every table in the headless lounge, they had boxes of blue shop towels. These were so useful for getting sweat off of my face and off the inside of my fursuit between cooldown sessions. It's small touches like that that show they really went the extra mile with the headless lounge. And I would love to see more conventions adopt a similar setup. And actually, Megaplex is moving to a new venue next year, and oh my god, look how gorgeous this is. Like the second that Clocky and I saw photos of the new venue during the closing ceremonies, we added this to our yearly convention list. Honestly, it looks like an amazing vacation, and having furries there is only a huge plus for us. It's so pretty. 
Like Megaplex had the feel of a resort vacation with friends that just happened to be tied into a furry convention. Actually, it was the first time in recent memory that I had gone to a pool at a convention. I did not expect to spend so many hours playing Marco Barco. Another thing worth noting is that I saw theming all over the convention. There were lots of cute decorations and posters everywhere. Again, I always appreciate seeing small details, because it shows the areas of planning that the convention organizers thought to put a little extra effort into. I also ran into lots of people in the hallways to take photos and stuff. This was just really nice, because not only did I get to meet a bunch of people who enjoyed my videos, but I also got to run into a lot of my close friends that were also attending the con. Like, I pretty much ran into everyone I knew there at some point during the con just by walking to and from things. Speaking of friends I ran into at the convention, my pals Yargan and Cyan trekked all the way down to Orlando to hang out with me for one of the days, which was a really nice surprise. If you guys are both watching this, I miss you both already, and I can't tell you how much having you around made my weekend extra special. Lastly, I'm happy to hear that Megaplex has switched to non-profit status. Support your non-profit cons! So, would I recommend Megaplex to someone on the East Coast? Heckin' yes! I feel like if you're new to furry conventions and want to try one out, Megaplex is a great choice. On top of having a pretty solid operation, I think it's big enough to feel like a larger convention without being as crowded or potentially overwhelming as some of the more massive US-based cons. I had an amazing first experience, and I'm sure it won't be my last. So thanks a bunch for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody! I hope you enjoyed it! What is something that you look for at a convention that always gives you a good first impression? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below! I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible. And if you really like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week! Also, if you'd like to directly support the content that I make on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below! And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these lovely Patreon supporters for producing today's video! And I want to thank these beautiful patrons for sponsoring today's video! Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.